right back. So this is a Reddit thread called Am I the Devil? Well, this is not my first one to read from that. And if you want to check that out, there's, you know, um, there's playlists. And at the end, there's even links. So this was posted on Am I the Devil under the title OP Legit Hates His Pregnant Wife. And the flare is a hole from another realm. <laughs> and the thread it came from of is not am I the a-hole, ironically, it's two hot takes. So very interesting. Maybe it originally was in am I the a-hole and reposted it two hot takes. I don't know. But here it is. Am I the a-hole for secretly eating takeout food my pregnant wife cannot eat because she has guess gestational diabetes. My wife, 34 female, and I, 35 male, have been married for 10 years and been together for 15. She is seven months pregnant and has gestational diabetes, which has been very hard on her and by extension, very hard on me too, and our relationship. Her doctor has strictly recommended she follows a strict diet, and that means no sugar or high-calorie foods such as Alfredo sauce or pizza and the likes. Naturally, she has been very, very upset because she has cravings, but there's no way she can indulge. She has gotten sick of the alternatives suggested to her and would start sobbing sometimes when we go outside because she will see all these food places only to realize she cannot eat what she wants. I feel for her. I really do. Our relationship started to break down a little when she started taking her anger out at me. My offense? Ordering the things I like to eat, such as cookies, cheese, frozen snacks. We get groceries delivered to us, by the way. Just like that, any other person does. She was extremely mad at me for being able to enjoy eating these things and made me feel guilty for eating stuff she craves. My breaking point was once she got angry, cried over the fact I brought home a box of donuts I received from the office on my birthday. I was sick of her behavior and the constant policing of my food intake in our home that I, in no uncertain terms, made it very clear that she cannot punish me for health problems she has. And that this is my house too and I will eat and drink whatever and whenever I please. We had a bad argument that day and I uttered divorce that seemed to shake us both and we did a few, few sessions of marital counseling it looked like i said marshall <laughs> it's marital marital counseling to keep it short our therapist held her accountable and shared that it was unfair on me to be at the receiving end of her emotional distress however she also emphasized that my wife is probably feeling unsupported too and I could try and be a bit more discreet and stick to making healthier meals together, which would be great for both of us. Since my wife cannot make up for excess blood sugar, she has to be working out a lot. She is chubby and has bad knees. I can see why she feels helpless. Wow. As a solution, we decided to stock up the forbidden foods in the second fridge we have in the drawing room in our home that we use to store drinks and guest snacks for. It's better when reminders of the things she craves but can't eat are not in the common fridge. This also means I can almost never order takeout at home and sometimes I miss doing that while watching Netflix. Oh poor baby. <laughs> What's the takeout with the Netflix? I'm sorry not garnering any sympathy for me right now. I still missed having the occasional pasta dish at the Cheesecake Factory or McDonald's. So sometimes when I drive home from work, I eat in my car, keeping the therapist reminder triggers in mind because I know that my wife, knowing that I ate stuff she can't, will make her mad. Yesterday, though, I took my wife on a long drive and she found a receipt for of the Cheesecake Factory on the floor. At the moment when she found it, she started sobbing and wouldn't talk to me. She is now pissed at me and feels like I have betrayed her. 
I think she is overreacting and I don't think I am wrong since 80% of the meals I have in a week are with her. I try to have takeout without her on Fridays mostly. I do not think I am an a-hole because wife and I have an agreement that I will be discreet when I want to indulge in the food I want to eat so that she does not get triggered every time. Am I the a-hole? Edit. There is still resentment I have against her for ruining my birthday. Basically, the gift I got from my wife that day was her yelling at me and me uttering divorce and ending the night in tears. I still hate her for it. Wow. Hate. Really? For creating a bad memory, I likely won't be able to erase, but I am working on it. Just, mm, okay. I feel the same way too when I read what I wrote. I do not want to hate her, but I do. I still cry thinking about how we fought for something seemingly innocent. I feel so wrong that no one sees that this was unfair and borderline abusive to me. To be at the receiving end of this as a spouse because I happen to be a husband in this dynamic. I'm not sure about therapy for this, but I grew up poor and food insecurity was a big part of my childhood. It makes me feel pretty crappy that now that I have means to provide for myself, I still cannot do what I want. No one sees my trauma and why I want to be able to take my own decisions too. And even if I don't have this trauma, I shouldn't need a reason to act with autonomy as long as I am supportive of her and being considered about her food issues, which I positively acknowledged in therapy with her and I'm doing my part even though I and our therapist agreed that her initial demand was ridiculous. I was made to feel like a horrible person for simply bringing a box of donuts my coworkers got me on my birthday when they were, there was no malice involved, no bad intentions, no desire to rub it in her face or whatever the rest of the world calls it. I regretted being a married man that day and wish I never met her. I have never let anyone bring my self-esteem down in the way my wife did. I have never given anyone else the power to hurt me like she did, and I want to take it away. No one has ever made me feel like a criminal for eating a donut and storing the rest in the fridge inside the house I own, too. Really? Just really? Really? You hate her because of a disagreement. And where is your flipping compassion? Her hormones are even higher than normal because she's pregnant with your kid and you wish you never met her? What a selfish SOB. Selfish, selfish. Let's see what some of these comments say. What the hell is uttering divorce? Well, he, you can utter the word divorce. I think that's what he meant. I think he means threatening divorce, but knows that he'll sound like an even bigger douche if he uses that word. <laughs> well, there is no sounding like a douche. He is one. <laughs> to me, honestly, when I read it, I picture him mumbling the word divorce and running to the bedroom to cry. At first I thought, well, just eating it once a week in the car doesn't make him the devil. It's the edits where he repeatedly says he hates her and couldn't cope with storing donuts someplace other than the shared fridge that checks the devil box. Yes. Like, yes, I will say her saying you can never eat these things is not fair. Um, I don't know how this has not come up before now. I, I don't know what that type of diabetes is, I it, doesn't it mean she already had it before she was pregnant? Or did she develop it from being pregnant? I, I'm a little confused on that. So. Wait, I misread and thought the birthday thing was before the pregnancy and another issue. You're telling the soon to be father hates his wife because he can't stop eating junk at home and that's it? 
I do agree her freaking out over the receipt. I understand why she would be emotional though. I would be devastated. There's a lot of foods I like and I want to see what this gestational diabetes is. What is gestational diabetes? It is diagnosed for the first time during pregnancy. Like other types of diabetes, it affects how your cells use sugar. Keep reading it. Uh, It can develop during a pregnancy in women who don't already have diabetes. So I'm guessing this was a surprise. Maintain a healthy body weight after delivery to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um... Most causes of cases of gestational diabetes go away shortly after the baby is born. Okay, seriously, this is for nine months, you can't deal with this. Like I thought, okay, she's had it her whole life and you're just not, but how many, how long did he say he was with her? 10 years and known her for 15. So if she had been diabetic, he's the biggest of a-holes. But since this just developed from the baby, seven months in, I can see him, I guess, losing it. But he's being a big baby. It's most likely going to go away at, after she has her baby. Your child. <sighs> mm. Oh, yeah, you are the devil. You are a devil, devil, devil. Gosh, I just, the selfishness. Like, deal with it. <laughs> Do you love her? Apparently not, because you said you hate her. It didn't take much for love to turn to hate, and that's pretty sad. Yeah. Like, I, some of the things I can totally c be compassionate with, like, my husband has diabetes, and it wouldn't be fair for him to tell me that I couldn't eat certain things because he can't or something, which he doesn't. But that would be an unfair ask. But also, and this is even something he can't have, but he hates the smell of pickles. I purposely try to eat pickles away from him, either when he's not home or in another room, so he's less likely to smell them. I also try and clean up if I spill like some pickle juice or something so he doesn't smell it. Am I perfect? No. But I try. I genuinely try. And that's what you do. <laughs> if someone can't eat something, you don't eat it in front of them. What if she was just on a diet? Like a keto diet. You gonna eat some donuts in front of her? That's heartless. A heartless B word. <laughs> so, yeah. Devil to the extreme. Um, yeah. Selfish as can be. I just wow that is ridiculous <laughs> but yeah so am i the devil yes you are sir yes you are uh you're also the a-hole and yeah <laughs> so thank you to hot takes for having that and whoever put it on am i the devil yeah good call i think you're right but until next time, how the moon. Bye.